I felt violated. I felt betrayed because I was an American and I had my own rights. Only on News 5, a nightmare at the U.S.-Mexico border. Border Patrol agents detain an Ohio woman for eight hours and accuse her of human smuggling. The woman says she and her husband were leaving a funeral in California when agents stopped them at a checkpoint. News 5's Mona Kozar Abdi spoke exclusively with the woman, and Mona, she's looking into taking legal action. Danita Mike, the woman who would like to be referred to as Reina, says at one point she thought she would never make it back to Columbus or see her sons again because not only was she detained without being charged, but she says when Border Patrol agents were done with her, they left her at a truck stop in the desert to find her own way home. For nearly 40 hours, Reina and her husband made the 2,000 mile drive from their home in Columbus to Calexico, California, taking in the scenic views state by state. Ohio, Missouri, Indiana, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, till we got to California. The two were attending a funeral in the border city for a family friend. But the quick trip, Reina says, would turn into a frightful and long ordeal, leaving her stranded in the California desert. And I said, I'm in trouble. I got to find my way home. Her troubles all began on their way home. Reina and her husband were driving up Highway 86 when they came across a toll-like booth under a white canopy, similar to the one you see here, a Border Patrol checkpoint near the Sultan Sea. I don't know if it was because we had out-of-state tags or because of what we looked like, but he asked us if we ha what was our citizenship, and I answered. Then they asked my husband. Reina, an American citizen of Puerto Rican descent, handed agents her passport. But it wasn't so simple for her husband. He is an undocumented immigrant from Honduras. And without the proper papers, agents detained Reina's husband. But then they shifted their attention to her. And he said, take off your jewelry. I said, why? He said, because you're being arrested. I said, for what? He said for smuggling. Agents were accusing her of traveling to the border to smuggle her husband into the United States. Then he said, you came here and picked up your husband, didn't you? Reina says she insisted she had proof the two traveled together, hotel and gas receipts detailing their journey. But agents booked and fingerprinted Reina and placed her in a locked holding cell. It's freezing like an ice box in there. The benches, are aluminum, the toilet is stainless steel, and there's a camera in the corner watching you. Minutes turned to hours before Raina says she was taken in for another round of questioning. And he said, I didn't know you were here. They forgot about you. The U.S. Attorney's Office decided against charging Raina with smuggling, and only then was she free to go, after sitting in that cell for eight hours. I felt violated, I felt betrayed because I was an American and I had my own rights. Sure. Left to find her own way home. Whether you're American or legal here, your safety and well-being is not their concern. And since Border Patrol agents confiscated the couple's rental car, Reina says that agents dropped her off at that truck stop a few minutes up the road close to midnight. She says a manager there drove her an hour to the nearest airport where she booked a $739 plane ticket home. Now, I reached out to the United States Border Patrol, and they say that agents followed protocol for when someone is suspected of, quote, alien smuggling. And when a person is released, it's up to them to get a ride, or agents will take them to a nearby public place. Danita, Mike?